Let us take a few examples of our past method and try to solve sitting arrangement questions. A, B, C, D, E and F are sitting in a row facing south. So A, B, C, D, E are sitting along this row and all of them are facing south. P, Q, R, S, T and V are sitting in a parallel row facing north. All P, Q, they are all sitting and these are all A, B. They are all sitting and facing uh, in the north direction. V sits third to the right of S. So this is the row in which V and S will be found. And since S is facing north, the arrangement would be S space space V. V is two places away from S and to the right of S because S is facing north. So V will come here. Next he says S faces south, uh, S faces F and F does not sit at any of the extreme ends of the line. So from the upper row F is sitting opposite to S. So here we can draw two more, three more lines. These are the spaces for three more members because members are sitting opposite to each other. If S and F are opposite to each other, somebody has to be here, somebody has to be here and somebody has to be opposite V. Then he says D sits third to the right of C. So we should now draw another here D space space C. Now why is it so? Because C is facing in the downward direction. He, D sits third to the right of C. C is facing in the downward direction. So D will be to its right and it will be two places away. That is it will be third to the right of C. And he says R faces C. On the lower side R will come here and these three spaces for somebody opposite D and somebody opposite here, somebody opposite here. Then the next thing he says is the one facing E sits third to the right of P. P is in this lane. So we'll write P here third to the right. So we should have a story like this. Third to the right would be this one. And the one facing E sits third to the right of P. So E will come here. And these will be the spaces that will be for those along that line. So very clearly we had these facts. This one, this one and this one. We have drawn as such as they have been given in the question. Next he says P, uh, B and P do not sit at the extreme ends of the line. This is one fact. T, uh, T is not an immediate neighbor of V. Another fact and A is not an immediate neighbor of C. We can't fit them immediately here right now. So these are the first steps for our pass one. Now let us move to our pass 2. For our pass 2, now we know that there are two lines. One is this line and the second is this line. So during our pass 2, we will try to fit all the members of the bottom line. So we will concentrate on this, this and this. So once we have the people in the bottom line, then we can use the facts given here to fit the people of the upper lane. So let us start that way. So in the bottom lane we have S space space V. Now we will have to perform a sort of reasoning here to see what is the possible arrangement. Since uh, if we notice this one, P has three persons to the right and S has Two, uh, three persons to the right. Now we have to fit P, these three persons into this one. We will try to merge this chain with this chain. One possibility is, and now we have already been given that as uh, F does not sit at any of the extreme ends. If F doesn't sit, then S also doesn't sit. 
so one possibility is that there is somebody to the left of s i'll mark it as an arrow here that there is somebody to the left of s and this position is occupied by p this position is occupied by p and p has three spaces to the right one space is this one as such the second space is v and one space the third space for p so how many people will be accommodated 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this is one arrangement the second possibility is which i'll draw here that s is preceded by p and p s three persons are to the right now p s comes here this is the next space of p and the next space of p comes here then it is followed by v because v is already there so this is one story that is emerging p s two spaces followed by v now let us see one fact more also has been given b and p do not sit at an extreme end so p does not sit at an extreme end this means somebody has to be to the left of p so this will make 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so all six will be accommodated so we have right now either this is the possibility or this is the possibility so far we have fitted three members s p and v s p and v now let us think about this one this says that three persons are to the left of r so if this is the possibility one then there will be two further more possibilities one possibility for this would be that space s p there are three persons to the left of r so 1 2 3 and this space is filled by r next space is filled by v and then there is a space so see i have fitted r in this position and three spaces to the left so one is this s comes p comes and r occupies this and v and space they are uh, they are written like that only now another possibility is also there that you have space s p space v r this is p so space s p space v and this last space is occupied by r so to the left of r there will be three spaces and the total persons would be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so to this branch we have two further branches space s p r v space space s p space v r now before working on the right side let us see which one of these survives looking for more facts here we find that t because we now need to fit t t is coming here t is not an immediate neighbor of v so if this is the one then t can't be here t can be here only and if t is here q will have to be here similarly t can't be here t will be here and q will be here we can conclude right now that we have two possibilities for this side one is t s p r v q i'll draw a line here to separate and this is the second possibility t s p q v and r so the lower row could be this one or this one now let us work on this side here also we will have possibilities we have to fit this r left spaces so r can be here if that is the case we will write space p s r space v this is one scene out of this one and we can also have r here so that these three spaces will be there ps and this space for the left side of r we can write space p s space r and v these two branches are here 
and T is not an immediate neighbor of V. In this case, we will have T here and Q here. Let us put that here. T, P, S, R, Q, V. This is one possibility. And here let us see what is the possibility. T is not an immediate neighbor of V. So here we'll have two more possibilities because T can be here also and here also. And when T is here, Q will be here and when T is here, Q will be here. Let me list those possibilities also. I am listing them just below this one. I'll write T, P, S, Q, R, V is one possibility. And I'll just find some space here and I'll write it as Q, P, S, T, R, V. I have at present, this is one scenario, this is second, this is third, this is fourth and this is fifth. I have five possibilities for the lower row, but only one of these will survive when I fit the upper row here. Let us start fitting the upper row by the rules given above. We'll take them one by one. F is directly above S and three spaces to the right. F here, one, two, three spaces. So this is third space. This is one here and C is opposite R. C is opposite R. So C will come here and there are uh, two spaces to the left of C, one space this, F other and so D will come here. And on this P we have three to the right, Q, so above Q E will be there. So E, C, F, Q. Uh, we need to fit A and B now. This says A is not an immediate neighbor of C. But how can I fit it? If I put A here, then it will be the immediate neighbor and if I put A here, it will be the immediate neighbor. Obviously, this arrangement fails. This will not succeed in either way. If I put A here, B will come here or if I put B here, then A will have to come here. So this arrangement will not fit. So let us strike it off. Now start working on this one. Put F directly above S followed by three spaces. Put F here, one, two, three spaces. Then put C directly above R. So I'll put C here and two spaces and D will automatically come here. C space space D. And in the last one he says, E will be a th th third space after P. So one, two, three. This means according to this, E should come at this position. After P, how many? 1, 2, 3. P, 1, 2, 3. So above R, E should come, which is not possible because C is already there. So this arrangement also fails. I might be looking a bit slow, but uh, this is the only sure shot method of doing these things. Yes, people might be talking about those shortcut methods and all, but they don't work everywhere. This is the only standard method which I have found which will definitely give you a solution. Okay, let me come to the third one. F is to be written above S. F comes here and three spaces come here. Then above R, C will be there. I will put C here. And leaving two spaces, D will come here. Then he says, after uh, uh, to, uh, these th uh, three spaces you will have to put E above the one. So P this space, this space, this space. So E will come at this position. So we have P third, uh, third one after P, third one after P, Q. It will be above Q. So far it is fitting now. Now he says A is not an immediate neighbor of C. So this means A could come here or A could come here. But what about the B? He is saying B, here it is B and P do not sit at the extreme ends. This means B will have to be surely come here and as a result A can come here. 
So we can see that this arrangement, this satisfies everything. D, B, F, C, A, T, P, S, R, Q, V. This question was asked in one of the bank PO exams in recent years, which I have solved right now. Let me take another one that was also asked in one of the PO exams. So that will help us clarify even more things. He says, six friends C, D, E, F, G and H are standing in a straight line facing north. So there is one straight line and they are all facing north. Okay, what do these facts say? D is second to the right of F. So since all are facing north, we can be very sure that if F is here, one space will be there and D will be following here. D is second to the right of F because F is already facing north so D will be somewhere here. Then he says C is fourth to the left of H. So if I draw H here, 1, 2, 3, C will have to come at this position. H is not at either of the extreme ends. Now, if uh, how many people have been adjusted here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 6 in all. Since H is not at an either end, we will have to put one space after H to accommodate the sixth one who will ultimately fall at the corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, this is the arrangement that should be there. C and H are fixed properly. Now, next he says, E is to the right of D. So E falls on the right side of D. He is not saying E is to the immediate right. He is saying E is to the right. So E could be somewhere on the right side of D. Now we have to merge this chain with this one. We know this is the ultimate blank spaces which we have already here. Let us now reason out where F can be placed. I will draw some rough work here. If I place F here, then one space will come and D can come here and E will come here. So I will have one, uh, D will coming, be, uh, E will be coming to the right of D. So E will come here, D as space and F. Let us make further, uh, further investment, investigation. If uh, F were to start here, would that be possible? a space and D here, but this won't be possible because D will then overlap H. So F cannot start at this point. And what about this? If I place F here, H will be the space and D will be coming here, but there will be no space for E because E will be not accommodated on the right side of D because the row stops at this point only. D will be the end point in that case. This means this is the right merge. So let me draw it here C F space D H E. Five of them are already here. So the remaining one would be C D E G I think G. So G will be here. This is the correct answer. This question was also asked in one of the previous bank exams. And let us now take up the next question.